what's going on? I just have a quick video here to share with you guys on how to install Windows 10 onto your PC. Now, I went to Microsoft's website. They're allowing you to download a Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview. You can download that ISO, burn it to a DVD, then boot your DVD on your computer and you'll be here at the desktop. They also provide you a product key with that for free. So then you can go try Windows 10 out. So let's go ahead and get started with this Windows 10 installation. Basically, once the genuine copies are released and you guys get your copies, this is how you can go through and install Windows 10 onto your computer. This will work the same way. So let's go ahead and get it started here. We'll click next and then install now. Um, it's going to come up and prompt for a product key. There's been some people having trouble activating theirs. All you really need to do is click down here where it says skip. So if you're having any trouble, you could just click skip and do it once you get the Windows, a de Windows 10 desktop booted up. Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview, that's the one I'm going to go ahead and install. I'm going to select yes for or check mark the box there for the terms and agreements now i'm going to do a custom install here guys basically i have some space set up on my hard drive to install this so 32 gigs are available there drive o unallocated space so what you want to do is create some new partitions here so select new and apply and that's going to create a system reserve space here, which you don't mess with that. Just leave that alone. And a partition two, which is going to be your primary area where you want to install Windows. Now, this is a clean install and format of Windows 10. So be careful here. Make sure you have all your videos and pictures backed up be before you click format right here because it'll delete everything. So I'm going to go ahead and format that partition. And there it formatted it. Or you can simply click next before you format. It really doesn't matter. I just like to format it right there. And it's all ready to go. So basically, I'm just going to click Next. And this is going to install Windows 10 onto my computer. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to pause it to get to the second part of this installation, guys. So I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I am back here. After it finished set up there, a couple random reboots. And it went to a black screen, but it eventually came back on. So you'll have a couple reboots before you get to this screen here, guys. And you can, instead of entering the product key here, down here it says do this later. You can simply click do this later and use express settings. So we just want to get to the desktop, take a look at Windows 10 real quick, a couple of things, and then be done with this video. So now it asks who owns the PC. I own it. So select that, click next. Then it's probably going to look for, yep, a password. Now you can go down here. It says skip this step. I'm going to skip that. And you have to put your username in and just put my name in there. And next. And now we should be on our way to the desktop. Kind of just like a Windows 8 installation. So far, so good. No issues here. Now, I am doing a little screen sharing here, guys, so I'm going to have to adjust the um, desktop here once it comes up so you guys can see the taskbar at the bottom. All right, so there... Ooh, look at that background. That's different. So there is the recycling bin. I'm going to move that down and boot the screen up here a little bit. There is the taskbar now, what it looks like. You got Microsoft Edge and a search bar there. Now, real quick, guys, if you right click, notice that like there's no icons on the desktop. This is always kind of annoying. Um, you know, like my computer and the normal desktops that we're used to to help us get started. If you go to personalize after you right click there, you can take a look in here. And if you go to themes, down here, you have the option to add your desktop icons in. If you click that, you can go ahead and check mark the boxes to put, you know, put on the desktop, like my computer, the network settings, and things like that. So that should help you get started. The reason these are grayed out right now is because if I go down here and go to settings, you'll see down here Windows isn't activated. Activate Windows now. If you click that, you can click change product key or product key click yes and then in here you can add your product key in for your version or installation of windows and that will activate uh, your copy of windows and then you can actually go back in there to themes and add your desktop icons on there guys and this is windows 10 pro insider preview evaluation copy build 10162 so this is probably an older build um, for what's going on out there like there may be some updates i don't know i was trying to keep up with it a little bit but I just wanted to share this installation of Windows 10 with you guys, 
and go ahead and try this out. It looks like we got some live apps going on here and other things. Um, looks pretty neat. I'm probably not going to spend a lot of time here. I just want to do the installation part quickly. So some of you can go try it out. Go to Microsoft uh, Microsoft's website and look for the insider stuff and get this downloaded and try it out. Um, guys, if there's any comments, please leave that stuff below. And thank you guys for watching. Please share this video. Please give it a thumbs up. And if you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe. So thanks for watching, guys, and have a great one. See ya.